Welcome to Jabby TV. If the West can deny us, the East is welcoming us. Krawi is here to stay, Adamugaba says. The former presidential aspirant Adamugaba has taken to social media to promote his Krawi app days after Google Play Store removed it from their platform. According to Adamugaba, the Krawi app is here to stay and there is nothing the West can do about it. He claimed that Samsung Store, Amazon Store and Hawaii Store are already uh, welcoming the Krawi app with a red carpet show. Adam retweeted that if the West is not ready to welcome his Krawi app, the East is ready to welcome his Krawi app. Here is what he said. The Krawi app is here to stay. If the West can deny us, the East is welcoming us with a red carpet. Our target is not to the East or West, red or blue. Our target is to secure sovereign information assets and domesticate, domesticate value and labor in Nigeria and Africa. Um, he said, all right, um, as data has become much more valuable, we should be able to have Krawi to help us organize it, mine it, create it, extract it and export it like we do today in the oil industry. Well, this post has attracted a lot of attention as many people are reacting to it. The majority think that Adam, Adam Gaba is indeed a good and industrious young man. They praised him for coming up with such an initiative. Who and who? Let's, let's see. Maybe there are people, maybe he has fans. Um, they also called on Nigerians to support him in his quest to establish a social network for Nigerians. So, the article ends with like three questions. I don't know why. I don't know why, but there are three questions here. It says, what do you think? First of all, the first question is, do you think Adabun Gaba is right? Um, again, it's not... What he's doing is... is, is, is how do I describe it? With all due respect, what he's doing is not necessarily... Um, how do I say this? Not new. But I think it's just who he is and who he stands for and his beliefs and who he supports. That is the problem. Because sometimes the message is key, but then the messenger may not be the best person to to send or com communicate the message effectively as it should be. So again, it's like, okay, fine. But there are other apps and you can't tell me that he's the only person in Nigeria that has an app that is for social network. Because you understand that he defends a government that defends um isa pantami if you know do your research about him the minister of digital technology having links with terrorist groups and obviously pushing for nin and all that so again that is already a problem for nigerians and especially as people who have used this app have complained that first of all i don't even think the app itself overall is a good app but as well as you know the complaint of you know stealing information from its users and giving it to third parties. I understand that that's in a very much rampant occurrence with all apps. But I think here, by law, the permission was not really given by or consented. Well, the people didn't consent to it. The users don't consent to it. And that is why people made a lot of reports and a lot of complaints. And of course, Play Store, Google Play Store, reviews it. And if they actually see that there's a matchup, then they will remove it. That's how it is. Because again, people are saying, okay, fine, it's fake and all that. But then, Google also wants to make money and then them allowing an app to be there on their platform will make money for them. So again, I don't think they'll be just free and be happy to just remove an app. But obviously, if it proves to be to their detriment, they will remove it. That's it. That is it. Um, and another <laughs> the question that's also hit here is, do you think that he's a smart young man? Um, I, honestly, that's my, that goes to your opinion and it's just like, uh, please. And also, do you think Adamo can change the face of Africa? okay that is yeah that is a big question i think before we get there let's just focus on the domestics of everything and what is happening in the country itself again the, he's not a fan favorite and i'm not listen i don't know what he wants to do what he plans to do but there are other apps that nigerians have created that are going to do better than crowy or as frankie doho would say um cro cro app um i listen this man i don't know what and it's a bit too hyped up again it's not a good record that google play store removed your app for you know for 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 how i describe it for just being a mediocre not good enough app to be honest um and there is a lot of there are a lot of other apps in nigeria that are doing better than that for social media they are doing better than that so again it's like i'm not really sure because again i don't know i don't know i just know that 
my insurance will not do that and what is even more you know um weird or not weird but what is even more what doesn't help him is that the fact that the northern groups or northern youth also are plotting to complain and report a lot of apps that are owned by southeasterners to google so it can be removed as well and i'm just like you know because this is in retaliation to what has happened and i think now everything is getting now distracted and everyone's getting distracted and it's not becoming a petty fight of who's gonna whose app is gonna be reduced but honestly though um this is the reason why you know anamagaba is everywhere trying to promote this app because it has been removed from play store and to be honest again because of him him he himself he's not a liked person so again anything associated with associated with him i do not think would be you know um received as he might want it to be um someone says so it's the west that kicked you you said that you were the one who told google to take down your app oh <laughs> oh okay um <laughs> that's low-key embarrassing well not low-key high-key embarrassing but oof that's yeah that, that's a bit strange um someone says that guy smokes in secret all right um kawi is for animals animal farm and flanny okay that's a bit oof um man alone you are on your own continue to cry with yourself while the rest of us will be tweeting to the world um it's, it's not even as innovative to be honest i mean if you look at the logo it has a bird as well which obviously shows there's a kind of ripper from twitter and of course you know when everything was happening in terms of you know NSARS and the cancellation or ban of twitter in nigeria he was very excited you know oh they've banned twitter so now and as an alternative let us use um let us use uh, my crabby app and it's just like oh, please 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 um again i don't know who's gonna use it uh, i don't know the market and demand i mean if you're using the app well, i don't know do it at your own risk but if you go on google play store it's very um what's the word entertaining to see the reviews that are there because i mean people do not like this app at all i mean the app it, it, you can be objective and give your and give your review but it is just not it. People are complaining so bad that the app overall is just not even good. It is literally not even good. Um, and honestly, I guess that just shows that it's, it's not good quality. It's not good enough. And um, yeah, that's sad. Whoa, I just searched it up um, and it has been removed. It has been removed from Play Store. So bad. But honestly, at the time when it was still up there, I went and I saw the reviews. I mean, if there was... An option for zero stars, I think it should have been given, but you know, there's no death star, so then for one star, that was the most. I don't think he had any five stars, I think it was only like one person or something. Um, but yeah, that was basically it. I know people were just going in on the app, that's it. I mean, justifiably because it was removed. And again, if you give a report, Google will review it and see if there's any matchup of what the complaints are about. That's it. So, poor thing about this, I don't forget to like.